Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling a big question. How many batteries do you need for a 5000 watt solar inverter? This is crucial for anyone serious about off-grid power. Whether you're building a tiny home prepping for emergencies or just want energy independence, understanding battery requirements is key. Let's dive in. A 5000 watt inverter is a powerhouse. It can run multiple appliances, but the inverter itself doesn't store power. That's where batteries come in. They're the energy reservoir of your system. So how do we figure out the right number? Understanding Amp Hours Think of AIA as the fuel tank for your power system. It tells you how much charge a battery can store and deliver. A higher A rating means more stored energy. We'll use this formula. Battery capacity amp hours equals power watts divided by voltage volts, multiple time hours. Example. Let's assume 12 volt batteries common in solar setups. You want to run a 2000 watt load for 3 hours. 2000 watts divided by 12 volts times 3 hours equals 500 amp hours. This means you need batteries with a combined capacity of at least 500 amp hours to run that load for that time. 12 volt batteries come in various types, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Here's a breakdown of three common types, deep cycle, AGM and lithium. 1. Deep cycle batteries. Deep cycle batteries are designed to provide a steady amount of power over a long period, making them ideal for applications like RVs, boats, and off grid power systems. 2. AGM absorbent glass matte batteries. AGM batteries are a type of deep cycle battery that uses a fiberglass mat to hold the electrolyte in place. This design makes them maintenance free and spill proof. 3. Lithium Batteries Lithium batteries are offering several advantages over traditional lead-acid batteries. Much lighter and more compact than lead-acid batteries. Higher energy density, providing more power for the same size. Longer cycle life, often lasting several times longer than lead-acid batteries. Faster charging times. But here's the catch. Batteries have a depth of discharge, DOD. This is the percentage of the battery's capacity you can safely use without damage. Deep cycle batteries, ideal for solar, are designed for deeper discharges, but even they have limits. Let's say your batteries have an 80% DOD. To get our usable 500 amp hours, we need a larger total capacity. Divide the required ampere hours, the DOD percentage. 500 ampere hours divided by 0 0.80 equals 625 ampere hours. So, you need batteries with a total capacity of 625 amp hours. You'll likely need multiple batteries connected in parallel to achieve this. 512 volt 125 amp hour batteries in parallel would give you 625 amp hours. When you connect batteries in parallel, you keep the same voltage, 12 volts in this case. But you add up the amp hour arch capacity. The positive terminals plus of all batteries are connected together. The negative terminals of all batteries are connected together. This creates a single 12 volt output with a total capacity of 625 amp hours. 125 amp hours times 5. Note, it's crucial to use batteries that are the same voltage and ideally the same capacity and type when connecting them in parallel. This ensures they share the load evenly and prevents issues like overcharging or premature battery failure. Now, about your 5000 watt inverter, that's its maximum power. If you plan to use that full 5000 watts, even briefly, you'll need a much larger battery bank. And remember, you rarely want to discharge batteries to their absolute limit. It shortens their lifespan. Example, running a 4000 watt load for 2 hours with 80% depth of discharge batteries. Calculation battery bank configuration. 1. Calculate total energy consumption. Power watts. X time hours. Yard energy watt hours. 4000 watts. X 2 hours. 8000 watt hours. 2. Account for depth of discharge. DOD. Energy WH. DOD, usable battery capacity, WH, 8000 WH, 0 0.80 to 10,000 watch 3, determine battery voltage. This is crucial and depends on your system. Let's assume a 12 volt system for this example. You'll need to adjust if your system is 24 volts or 48 volts. 4. Calculate amp hours. A required usable battery capacity, WH, voltage, 
V. Years amp hours A. 10,000 voltage 12 V. 833.33 R5. Choose battery capacity. Batteries come in various A ratings. You'll need to select batteries that, when combined, meet or exceed your 833.33 ampere hour requirement. 6. Configure battery bank series connection increases voltage. If you need a higher voltage, e.g. 24 volts, you would connect batteries in series. Parallel connection increases capacity amp hours. To achieve your desired R, you'll likely need to connect batteries in parallel. Example configuration 12 volt system. Let's say you choose 200 amp hours 12 volt batteries. Number of batteries in parallel 833.33 amp hours divided by 200 amp hours equals 4.17 batteries. Since you can't have fractions of batteries, round up to 5 batteries in parallel. Important considerations you'll need an inverter that can handle the 4000 watt load. Charging Ensure your charging system, charger, solar panels, etc. can adequately charge the battery bank. Battery type. The type of battery, lead, acid, lithium ion, etc. affects calculations and charging requirements. Your solar panel array is just as important. It needs to replenish the batteries as fast as you're using the power. A well-matched solar array is essential. Key considerations for solar panel arrays and battery charging. Array sizing. The size of the solar panel array should be matched to the battery bank capacity and the energy needs of the system. Charge controller compatibility. The charge controller must be compatible with the battery type and voltage. Wiring and connections. Proper wiring and connections are essential for safety and efficiency. Maintenance, regular cleaning and maintenance of the solar panels ensure optimal performance. By understanding how solar panel arrays and battery charging work together, you can effectively harness solar energy to power your home, business, or other applications. Battery type matters too. Lead acid, AGM, and lithium ion all have different pros and cons. Lithium is more expensive upfront but offers a longer lifespan, higher DoD and better performance overall. Questions? Leave them in the comments. Like and subscribe for more solar power tips. Next time, we'll cover choosing the right charge controller for your solar system. Stay tuned.